Hello everyone. Welcome to my programming club. Today we will be solving another daily read code problem. And the problem's name is longest increasing subsequence. So given an integer array terms, return the length of the longest strictly increasing subsequence. Uh, for those of you who do not know what a subsequence is. A uh, subsequence uh, is a sequence derived from a given array by deleting some or none of the elements of the array, provided that the relative order of this uh, these elements in the array uh, remains same. So this is the definition. By deleting zero or more elements from the given array without changing the relative order of the remaining elements, you can form a subsequence. For example, let's say you decide to delete B and C, then you are left only with A and D. So A colon D is a subsequence, but T colon A is not a subsequence because here the relative order of D and A are uh, orders of D and A are changed as compared to the original array. A is occurring before D in original array and in this uh, sequence that you have generated, uh, it's not occurring uh, before uh, D. So this is a valid subsequence and this is not a valid subsequence. So I hope you have get a clear idea of what subsequence is. Okay. So now let's see what the constraints of the problem are. So the length of the array will be of order 2500 and elements will be ranging from minus 10 raised to power 4 to 10 raised to power 4. Okay. And uh, increasing subsequence, if you may ask, uh, will be uh it's mentioned that it should be strictly increasing so if you are uh, generating a subsequence a b c d then it should be like this a is lesser than b b is lesser than c and c is lesser than d okay so if you take an example for uh, let's say uh, we take the very first one that is given to us okay uh, so one increasing subsequence can be uh, let's take the answer itself 237 and 101 okay if you see 2 is less than 3 3 is less than 7 and 7 is less than 101 so this is a strictly increasing subsequence so your question is now uh, or the problem statement is now clear to you uh, there is a follow up also in this uh, particular problem it's being asked that uh, can you come up with the algorithm that runs in n log n time complexity so here as you can see uh, the constraints are not that much higher so if you go on for n square time complexity also it will be accepted since 2500 square will be lesser than 10 raised to power 8 operations so the number of operations that your program will be requiring in n square time complexity solution uh, is well within the bounds of operation limit uh, those of you who are new to this operation limit concept actually uh, if the number of operations that your program will be requiring to solve a particular problem happens to be less than this operations limit then you will uh, get a accepted solution the solution will be getting accepted uh, by the online judge so that's what this limit concept is for okay uh, but follow up ask us to call it in n log n time complexity where n is the size of the given array 
so how to do that what we will be doing is uh, we will be generating uh, LIS longest increasing subsequence okay uh, on the fly uh, what I mean by this is uh, while traversing the array from left to right let's say this is the input array you will be making up your longest increasing subsequence LIS for each element you have to decide whether adding it will increase or decrease the uh, whether adding it will increase uh, the length of the current longest increasing uh, subsequence or not okay whether adding this element to current LIS uh, will increase its length or not if let's say the length by adding a element to the current sequence add, uh, increases its length for example let's say the sequence be 2 3 7 and then you are checking for a number 101 then if you add this 101 to this particular sequence longest increasing sequence till now then you can see that your length will be increased since uh, 101 is greater than all the elements that are currently in the LIS so this this is the LIS currently if you add 101 it is greater than all of the elements that are present as of now so it will surely increase your length so in that case you will be keeping a variable called length and you will be simply incrementing it okay if that's not the case uh, then what you will do is uh, you will find the lower bound of 101 let's say instead of 101 it would have been uh what should i say uh, let's say it's five okay you are examining for five let me change the color or let's move it to a new slide 237 this is the current lis okay and then you are thinking about adding now which element is uh, equal to or greater than uh, what is the uh, uh, equal to or greater than 5 ok if there is no element equal to 5 then you will be searching for element greater than 5 so element greater than 5 in LIS as of now is 7 so you can say lower bound of uh, 5 in LIS as of now is 7 so you will see at what index 7 is occurring 0 1 2 second index it's occurring then what you will do is you will replace this 5 this 5 is for sure not going to increase your LIS length so you will replace 7 with 5 why, why replacing? because it is guaranteed that uh, this 5 will not be uh, greater than 7 so if it's not greater than 7 there are chances that we will get a number that is uh, lesser than 7 or equal to it if it's equal then uh, the LIS uh, will not be affected much and if it's lesser uh, then you will be getting an optimal uh, current state of LIS what I mean by this is let's say uh, let's say this is your current LIS 
okay l i s as of now and these are the elements uh, left out to process now you will be processing them from left to right one by one now you are deciding for five whether adding it to the lis will be increasing our length or not so as you can see it will not be increasing our length so we will uh, let's say as of now we do not do a replacement of lower bound uh, with its lower bound which is nine lower bound of five in lis is nine so we are not replacing it so we are just skipping it okay then we went to seven now here comes a uh, seven and then seven also you will be able to see that it will not be increasing the lis length uh, because uh, if you find lower bound of seven it's present in the lis which is nine so you can see the effect of not uh, replacing a element with its uh, uh, elements lower bound with the element uh, that you have missed forming the longest increasing subsequence so the longest increasing subsequence would have been two three five seven and here because of you are not doing any replacements you are only left with two three nine which is a length three subsequence and it is a length four subsequence so instead of not replacing five with uh, 9 you will be replacing it so your lis as of now will be 2 3 5 now as you can see adding 7 will be increasing your lis current length which is 3 and now your lis current length will be 7 so that's the effect of replacement so based upon whether the uh, addition of an element will be increasing your lis current length you will be making a uh, call uh, that whether to do a replacement or just increase the length and add that element to the current LIS. So let's see the implementation part. Let me quickly zoom out. Okay, now it should be fine. So this is the implementation part. Uh, you will be forming your LIS on the fly while traversing uh, your given array your input array let's say from left to right okay uh, first of all you will be adding the very first element since we have to add something in the LIS uh, to judge whether adding uh, element will be increasing it or not or let's say we have to begin with something so we are adding the very first element so your lis length as of now will be one okay uh, now what you will do is uh, you will make a decision uh, make a call whether to add an element in lis or not or do a replacement uh, based upon uh, the fact that it will it be adding uh, to some uh, adding something to the length of the current lis so based upon the fact that you are adding a, an element uh, to current LIS will increase its length or not uh, we will either be adding that element to the LIS either be adding that element to LIS and increasing the length variable or what we can do is we can simply 
do a replacement if or we can do a replacement uh in order to ensure that the current state of lis is most optimal one okay and then you will simply be returning the length and if you want you can also check the lis also what's the lis as of now by printing uh, the current lis okay so let's say we decide to print it just for our sake uh, to check whether we are forming current longest increasing correct uh, longest increasing subsequence or not okay so not nums it will be lis okay and then a line space let's see as you can see this is also a valid one two three seven eighteen or you could have just taken up 101 also that's fine here and for that part also other uh, example 0123 so we are indeed getting the current uh, correct uh, LIS so that's how we will be solving this particular problem and if you may ask what this line is for this line is for nothing but finding the lower bound of each element and then once you have got the lower bound you can find out the insertion index uh, if this element were to be inserted in the LIS what will be the index on which it uh, its insertion will be done if the current element were to be inserted in the LIS what the index would have been what the insertion index would have been okay so also you can rename it let's call it insertion index okay uh, let's try to submit once as you can see it's getting accepted and the time complexity part will be n log n why n log n because this is uh, nothing but a binary search lower bound internally uses binary search okay and time complexity wise it's let's say n is the size of your array then it's log n okay and overall time complexity of this entire loop will be n log n okay so that's why the overall time complexity will be n log n and since we are not using any extra space here so that part is covered space complexity wise it will be o of one okay and yeah that's pretty much it from my side thank you for watching have a great day ahead and if uh, you are having any doubts or any queries in general feel free to ask them in the comment section thanks again